Hello! In my video, we're going to focus more on another type of phrase, what we call participial. But before that, let us answer the six items about infinitive phrase and how they are used. Now, can you point out the infinitive phrase and tell me how they are used? Are they used as an adjective or an adverb? Mm -hmm. Let's answer. For number one, you have here, I sat down to rest well. You have there the infinitive to rest well. Well, this is an adverb because it modifies the verb sat down. Okay, why did you sit down? To rest well. Why? Answering the question, why? Therefore, it's an adverb. Number two, what kind of a plan to start a diet program this week? Therefore, it is an adjective modifying the noun plan, which is the object of the preposition with. How about for number three? He will stay in Canada for two weeks to go skiing. What is the word modified? Does it refer to Canada or weeks? No, rather it modifies the verb will stay. Why will he stay in Canada for two weeks to go skiing? Answering the question, why? How about number four? To meet her friends is also an adverb, why? because it describes the verb will visit. Answering the question again, why? Why will Shane visit the cafe on the next street to meet her friends? Number five, Bill bought Brittany a bouquet of flowers. Here, why did Bill bring Brittany a bouquet of flowers? So referring to the verb bought, the answer is to show his love. Answering the question again, why? Why bring or why did he bring or why did he buy rather? Not bring but rather why did he buy a bouquet of flowers for Brittany to show his love. Sorry, not bring but rather buy. Number six, the best person to call in this situation is Mr. Jones. To call in this situation refers to the subject person, which is a noun. Remember, your subject is always a noun or a pronoun. What kind of person to call in this situation? Which person to call in this situation? Therefore, it is an adjective because it describes our subject person. I hope you can identify the infinitive phrase whether it is an adverb or an adjective. Clear? Now let's go to the last type of verbal phrase that may function as an adjective or an adverb, what we call participial. Now, participial, a phrase that begins with a participle, a present participle form of the verb or past participle form of the verb. When we say present participle, that's why they are called participial phrase because it is formed in a form of a present participle of a verb or past participle of the verb. Now, we have here when we say present participle, it is verb plus ing. Well, for past participle, we have verb plus d or ed or en or a regular form of the verb. Or it could also be perfect tense, perfect participle or perfect tense of the verb having plus past participle form of the verb. So again, the form of participial phrase is participle verb in its participle form plus complement 
or modifiers. And again, let me reiterate, if prepositional phrase may function as an adverb or adjective, infinitive can also be an adverb or an adjective, but participial phrase only functions as an adjective. So keep that in mind. Now, study these examples. You have here, sailing leisurely. Take note, you have here the verb ending in ing. You have here, leisurely. So, you have here, participle of the verb plus another word or modifiers or complement. That's why this is your participial phrase. Who is sailing leisurely? The it refers to the subject we. Class participle phrase is forming the present participle of the verb plus other words or what we call complement. Now in here, participial phrases are actually verbs in form but functions as an adjective because it describes the action done by the person or by an object or by a noun or a pronoun. So you have here, we. Which one? We. The one sailing leisurely. We. Another one. You have here, drawn by his personality and comforting message. Which crowd? The crowd which drawn by his personality and comforting message. Now take note that participial phrases starts with a verb in form ing, present participle or past participle form of the verb drawn. You are modifying, describing the action done by a noun or a pronoun rather than telling the action, rather describing the action. Now you have here drawn by his personality. Your main verb here is listen. The subject is crowd, the verb is simple predicate is listen. Here we have the subject we and the verb did notice as your verb. But sailing leisurely do not, does not function as a verb, but rather an adjective. Another sentence, having lost 10 pounds, I consider the diet successful. Who lost 10 pounds? I, having lost 10 pounds, modifying the subject I. Therefore, this one is what we call your participle phrase and it functions only as one, no other than, none other than adjectives. Now, can you identify the participle phrases in each, the participle phrase in each sentence? Concerned about his grades, Josh aced all his exams. Donna, having finished all the decorations, prepared the foods next. Number three, the poor dog wandering the streets was looking for a shelter. Motivated by the teacher's promise, the students volunteered to clean the corridor. Having participated in the competition, Tina was invited to the celebration. The blue team cheered for their representatives completing competing in the race. Now, can you underline the participle phrase in each sentence? Let's do it. Yes, and here are the correct answers. Concerned about his grades, referring or modifying the subject, Josh. If you notice, if it is written at the beginning of a sentence, it is separated from the rest of the sentence using a comma. Number two, having finished all the decorations found after the subject, Donna, the word modified, who finished all the decorations referring to Donna. 
therefore it's your participial phrase and take note it's ending with ing this one starts with a verb concerned take note of that now the main sentence here take note class that when we take away participial phrases in each sentence it will not affect the main sentence josh aced all his exams so do not confuse the main verb as the participial phrase so for number two the main sentence is donna prepared the foods next so having finished all the decorations is your participial phrase as an adjective the poor dog which dog wandering the streets so here wandering the streets referring or describing the subject dog the poor dog was looking for a shelter the poor dog wandering the streets so take note that the main verb here is was looking number four motivated by the teacher's promise that is your take note it starts with the verb motivated verb form but do not function as a verb but does not function as a verb as i told you again and i want to reiterate that one so motivated by their teacher's promise the students so here is the word modified students which student the students who are motivated by their teacher's promise so that would be your participle phrase in the word modified how about for number five again this is found at the beginning of the sentence referring or describing the subject tina which tina the tina who having participated in the d in the competition so referring to the subject tina therefore this is an adjective the blue team cheered for the representatives competing in the race so competing in the race is your participle phrase modifying the direct or the object of the preposition representatives the noun this is a noun okay which representatives competing in the race so participle phrase adjective always an adjective if you notice the words that i have in circle or circled are nouns or pronouns okay did i make myself clear and that's another phrase participle phrase or what we call modifier also A verb in form but do not function as verbs but rather as an adjective now let us recap once again there are three kinds of phrases the first one prepositional used also as a modifier we also have infinitive and lastly we have participial phrase so again there are three types of phrases that are used as modifiers or phrasal modifiers prepositional infinitive and participial so can you point out in each sentence the phrase and tell me how they are used